Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And if you're new here to the overall kind of series that I'm doing in prepping for my first Ironman, I'm excited to have you here. I'm excited for those of you that um, are following along on the journey. Today, we're gonna talk through the equipment um, that I have. And the equipment that I have is equipment that I'm just using to utilize for just the training purposes. And then there's also equipment that I'll be showing you today that I will be using, yes, on race day. Um, there is still some equipment that I do not have, um, but we are just over um, three months out. And so there's still plenty of time to get some of the uh, equipment. Um, one thing that's really um, maybe hindering some folks that, that want to participate in kind of these long endurance events is, um, and even myself, if I'm being honest, was I don't know where to start, right? I don't know where to start with getting some equipment or how to um, go about, you know, maybe getting it fitted or tuning it up or um, what what's best, right? What's best out there? And how do I approach that um, being um, new in this space? So we'll just kind of talk through all of those things. All right, one of the first things we're gonna start with is the swim equipment. Um, I, right now, am spending just one day a week in the pool, um, and that, that session is typically about an hour to 90 minutes, just kind of depending on how far I have to go and what drills um, have been programmed in for me to practice in on. Um, the swim for me personally has been one of those things where I don't know what I'm doing, um, which is funny, especially growing up in Arizona where everybody has pools, um, but swimming for you know a long distance is definitely a lot different than, than jumping in the pool with your cousins uh for to cool off so that being said um there's a lot of different equipment um that i have purchased for the pool um all of it's honestly not super expensive which is fantastic um but there is a lot of equipment out there um first thing was just a swim cap basic swim cap i think it was like five bucks at shields um, some of the other things that I've purchased is this, is a buoy. Um, this sits between your legs, um, for when you're really focusing in on that, that pull movement, um, and just using your upper body, which is great. Um, and, and allows you to, um, not, not kick because you're, you're wanting to save that energy in your legs for the bike and the run afterward. I have not used these as much, but they are paddles. Um, and so these paddles fit right onto your hand, which is great. And it does help accentuate that pull movement um, and, and takes you further, which I think is fantastic. Um, I did get a little bag here. This bag goes with me Friday mornings um, when I trek my, my, my gym bag uh, to the gym and myself to the gym. Of course, we got some goggles, which is great. Um, I didn't even know that they made this stuff, um, which is anti-fog spray um, for your goggles, but it is actually really handy um, if you just sometimes let water soak up in there and, and definitely live in these um, human environments. Earplugs, I did not think that I would need these if I'm being honest. Um, they're super small, they fit right into your ear, um, and they have saved me. In fact, when I first started kind of on this journey, I uh, inevitably got an ear infection, which sounds really weird as, as an adult. Um, I don't think I've had an ear infection um, since I was a little kid, um, but it's because of just the swimming um, and being in the pool, and that really... Um, those have helped me tremendously. We've got a snorkel, um, which if I'm being honest, I don't love using um, because for me, it's really hard to, to not uh, try and breathe in through my nose. Um, and so I definitely need to get a nose plug. It is on the list. Um, but the snorkel 
exercises are fantastic because it really allows you to focus in on um, the exercise that you're doing and not necessarily having to worry about um, you know trying to trying to catch the right uh, moment to, to breathe um, and then there's two of these in here and I'm only gonna pull one out but um, these are amazing and they just take you so far. Um, and they're great for warm up and cool down pool swims, um, which I love. So that is the majority of the swim equipment that I use. Um, there is the only other thing that I need in the sense of kind of prepping for the swim um, is a wetsuit. Um, and so I will be looking at purchasing a wetsuit for the swim. That wetsuit does help a little bit with the buoyancy um, and helping keep those hips up um, and, and just allowing you to float a little more, which I think will be great, uh, especially given the length of the swim. And then separately, um, I'm sure I'll purchase probably a, a new set of goggles um, because a lot of the time when you're training in something, um, sometimes it's nice to have a, an additional pair, um, which I think will be The good. next thing we're gonna talk about is the bike. Now the bike is something that is going to go with me to the actual race. I'm utilizing it a lot to practice. Um, you'll see right now it's sitting here on the trainer. Um, so this trainer hooks right in here um, and allows me to train inside, which some people may not like, uh, but I will tell you what has been so fantastic about training inside for me is it's allowing me to focus in on my nutrition. Um, and so a lot of the time I will grab my snacks um, and my water um, or drinks and line them up. Um, and it really allows me to focus in on, okay, at this mile, we're pushing this amount of water or, um, you know, these amount of carbs, uh, which I think is really um, something that's super helpful. We bought this bike off of Facebook Marketplace. It has raced in some Ironman 70.3s in the past. Um, in fact, the, the stickers were on there when we purchased it, which I thought was really cool. Um, and we just bought it off Facebook Marketplace. They no longer had a need for it. Um, and we did get some new tires put on it and we got it tuned up at Shields, which I think is fantastic. <clears throat> what we are probably, what I will probably be getting is um, an additional set of new tires. These are kind of just some basic tires. Um, I will probably be purchasing some new tires, run me about another $100. Um, I'll also work on getting the bars rewrapped. You'll see the bars here, um, rewrapped. These are tri bars. Um, and maybe potentially looking at um, changing out these elbow pads. You'll see that they are a little worn, um, but overall the bike is fantastic. <clears throat> I've added a phone mount here for when I am out um, on the road um, and also a speed and cadence sensor um, by Garmin. And what I love about it is number one, it's so easy to pair to other programs such as Zwift, um, but it, it's also so great because it pairs right with my watch. And so when I am on the bike, I've got my heart rate monitor on by Garmin. My Garmin speed and cadence sensors are connected through my watch and or Zwift. Um, and I am ready to roll. I know exactly what my speed and cadence is. I know exactly uh, what my power output is and where I need to be. Um, and of course, the most important part of the entire thing is tracking your heart rate, and so I am able to do that. Um, one other thing is, and, and we purchased these back uh, for use on the Peloton, you can see back there, but um, just <clears throat> our cleats, which are great, um, and those, these are some Nike Super Wraps, super comfortable, super easy to use, um, and that's the bike. And the last part, of course, of a triathlon is the run, which I love to run. It's no secret. Um, you, a lot of the time you can find me out around the neighborhoods around here, just, just hitting the pavement. Um, what's fantastic for me 
uh, personally in a run is that I feel like I can just hit the pavement and go. Um, that being said, I think there's a lot of preparation, especially coming off of two endurance events already, such as the run and the bike, or excuse me, the swim and the bike, that you've really got to prep your body. And so your body being prepped in wrapping toes if needed, um, making sure that your sun's screened up, you've got your hat, right? Um, typically on a run, you'll see me, I'll have my Garmin heart rate monitor on, I'll have my hat on, sunglasses. Um, and of course, the most important part, in a run, your shoes. And so a, a lot of the time I've been training and or running previous half marathons in my Hoka Arahis. <clears throat> I've been using some Nike Zoom flies for a lot of my speed work or inter interval training as well. Uh, because I feel like a lot of the time they just leave you as light as a feather and it allows me to just go. Um, I will be purchasing some new shoes coming up here in the next couple of weeks in order to get prepped for Iron Man. And so stay tuned to see what those are. I'm really excited for that. Um, and then separately, one thing we didn't talk about, we talked about the wetsuit being needed for the swim, but there's also a, the tri suit that is also going to be needed. Um, and the tri suit I think is, is absolutely so important because not only are you spending your time in the bike on it, but then you're getting off of the bike, you're changing your shoes, you're heading out and you're going on your run in it as well. So you're spending the chunk, the, the biggest chunk of time <clears throat> in the entire race in your tri suit. And so I think that that is so important. I, have some pretty sweet ideas of what I want my tri suit to look like. Um, and so I'm, I'm getting pretty stoked on that. Um, and then of course, making sure that I've got, you know, my hat ready, um, sunglasses, everything I need in those transition, transition bags that are going to be so key and so necessary, honing in on the nutrition, uh, especially for the latter half of it, just to be able to get me through pushing electrolytes days and weeks in advance to make sure that my body is just ready to absorb all the water that I can give it um, and to utilize it appropriately through the muscles. So I'm getting really excited for all of that. <clears throat> One thing I did not mention for the bike is the helmet. I do have just a basic helmet that we purchased, I think at Costco um, a while back that I'm using as I'm, as I'm, getting outside on my bike. Um, I am looking for a new helmet um, just for this, you know, these longer type events. Um, so that is also something that we will be looking into purchasing. I hope that you've enjoyed getting a small glimpse into what we've purchased um, or gotten ready for the, the upcoming Ironman. I, I think a lot of things that are probably left unsaid are, of course, you know, we've got our gym membership that, that we're actively utilizing. I think there's some other key things that I wouldn't consider equipment, but almost necessary are things like massage um, and or stretching are, are key, right? We've got a, a foam roller here at home that we utilize frequently just, just to release those muscles and help get prepped. Um, and while they're not necessarily an equipment that I'm utilizing um, dur during the race, it's something that I'm utilizing in preparation for and leading up to that race. Um, and so you know that my foam roller will definitely be on the road with us as we go uh, and travel for this journey. Thanks for tuning in today. If there's anything that you'd like to see, um, or you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out and, uh, thanks for tuning in.